Hey, what's up you guys? Marcos Villegas here and what seems to be just like a, another normal day here in Los Angeles is far from that as just right across the way right over here at the Conga Room here at LA Live, Andre Berto and Victor Ortiz are here to announce their long anticipated rematch happening on April 30th on Fox at the StubHub Center. Now, if you remember this fight back in 2011, it was fight of the year, and it was really a fight that made me jump and scream. That's how good it was. Both guys hit the canvas twice. Victor Ortiz ultimately getting a unanimous decision win in that fight. But when you think of where this rematch should land, there's only one place that comes to mind for me if it's happening in California, and that's the StubHub Center in Carson, California, home to so many memorable fights, such as Ruslan Provodnikov against Timothy Bradley, the Vasquez Marquez one in two fights, Matisse versus Molina, just so many. And that's not even to mention the fights that happen in the stands. You SoCal fans know what I'm talking about. But before we get to that date, we got to get this press conference up and finished. So let's go ahead and head inside and see what Victor Ortiz and Andre Berto have to say about this matchup. The best fights boxing fans have witnessed in a long time. The fight saw both men hit the canvas twice including a sensational sixth round where both guys were down. The fight was awarded the 2011 Ring Magazine Fight of the Year. DGB Promotions is very proud and honored to bring this highly anticipated rematch to the Los Angeles fans at the premier outdoor boxing venue in the United States, the Sub Hub Center in Carson, California. Tickets starting at $27 are on sale now at the uh, website AXS.com and the Stub Hub Center box office. We're also very happy to work once again with our great friends at Fox and Fox Deportes to bring this outstanding, this outstanding card to a nationally televised audience on a uh, prime time Saturday night. This is going to be a, a triple header. The, uh, the undercard attractions are going to be two of the hardest hitting light heavyweights in boxing today. We have Edwin Rodriguez taking on Thomas Williams in a 10 round bout. Both guys are known for their devastating power. You want to be in your seats when this one starts because it's not going to go 10, I can guarantee you that. Plus we have the former three division world champion Fernando Montiel taking on the unbeaten Mexican brawler Jorge Lara in a 10 round bout to open the show. And I'm looking forward to seeing a huge crowd out there Saturday night, April 30th. It's going to be a tremendous event. Muchas gracias. Gracias a por tomarme en cuenta para esta gran cartelera con Victor Ortiz y con Andrés Berto. I want to say thank you very much. I'm, uh, it's an honor and a pleasure for me to be a part of this amazing card with Victor Ortiz and Andrés Berto. Bueno, quiero decirles que la pelea contra este Jorge Lara, pues no es nada. No es nada que puedan despreciar, va a ser una pelea que va a dejar, va a dejar calientita la, la lona para, para las peleas estelares. Our fight, my fight between myself and Jorge Lara is going to get the ring hot for the main event of the evening. Es un, es un joven peleador invicto que lo he visto pelear y pues estoy seguro de que va a salir bien preparado porque yo también he estado en su papel cuando he enfrentado a, un, a una pelea grande me he preparado muy fuerte y pues sé que para él significa una pelea como si fuera de campeonato mundial I know he's going to come prepared I'm going to come prepared he's a great fighter he's undefeated and I know he's going to bring his best así que no se la pierdan vamos a empezar a abrir el show y va a empezar a editar la función gracias a Fox gracias a Juan Carlos Torres mi empresa Sanfer a todos muchas gracias I'd like to thank my entire team and wish all of you and hope you all come out on April 30th. It's going to be a terrific fight. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk with his adversary. He is undefeated, mantiene un record invicto. He is a world-ranked featherweight contender. Joining us from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. Pelea en el peso pluma, es invicto desde Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. With a record 27 wins, no losses, two draws. This is his third fight in the United States. Es el tres pelea en los Estados Unidos. Aquí está comenzando Jorge Pilón Alvara. Buenas tardes, pues más que nada, 
dar las gracias aquí a la, a la promotora y pues más que nada agradecer aquí por pelear en esta gran función de Víctor Ortiz con André Berto y más que nada con un gran campeón como Fernando Montiel. I want to go ahead and say it's an honor for me to be able to fight on a card like this with Andre Berto and Victor Ortiz, their rematch. And you know, I want to welcome everybody and really excited about April 30th. We know that it's not a fight easy. And I prepared very hard for it because the three times the world champion, I think, was not there for the most part. And we were always prepared to give a good fight. I know this isn't going to be an easy fight. I know the accomplishments that Fernando Montiel has had. That's why we are working very hard. We're preparing ourselves very diligently for this fight, and we just uh, we are looking forward to the challenge against uh, Fernando Montiel. Pues, no se pierdan la pelea este 30 de abril. No, no va a dejar nada que sea porque va a ser una muy buena pelea. Y pues. Hace años atrás de haber sido un ídolo, Fernando Montero ahora me tocó enfrentarlo y vamos con todos si Dios quiere. Nos esperamos el 30 de abril. Don't miss this fight, we're going to give it our all. It is going to be a tremendous matchup. I'm going to come out victorious, but it is going to be a tremendous matchup between both of us. Appreciate everybody for coming. Glad to be here. Uh, we just have to leave camp and jump on the plane to get out here, but. but um, I'm excited. I'm excited about this one. Um, I mean, April 30th is going to be a it's going to be a tremendous night. I promise you that. And uh, like I say, the fight back then, like I said, he got me. I wasn't that 100, percent but he, I say he did what he had to do to win. But this time, I'm definitely going in extremely focused and just ready just to go and just take everything. That he felt that he took from me that night. But this is what he asked for, right? This is what he asked for, so I want to make sure that he knows what he's getting himself into. Because this ain't the same situation. I promise you that. So we're going to see. We're going to see. We're going to see. Well, I appreciate everybody for coming out. And make sure you come and tune in April 30th and come see us handle this business. What's up everybody, how's everybody doing today? Thank you guys for coming. Uh, first of all, just to share the stage with these guys is you know, more than I can ask for. Um, 2011, yeah, that was one hell of a year. I mean, working two jobs and uh, got a little break for a week and then conquered the championship. The repeat's coming, April 30th, I expect no less. I mean, that's, he's one hell of a warrior, just give him that. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna be ready, I know he will too. I don't need to talk, I'll do my talking in the ring. See you guys April 30th. Um, Calle se me olvidó que hablo español. <risa> no, no, pues uh, un gran combate el 30 de abril y pues yo sé que André viene con una fuerza muy fuerte, viene a entregar todo como yo y aún eh, en 2011 fue el, el año que me dieron una oportunidad de ir a pelear un campeonato, toda la gente se burló de mí y le pasó con la corona. Y una, una repetición de 2011 viene el 30 de abril y punto. Gracias a la gente, hablo, dejo mis, mis manos hablar en el ritmo. Nos miramos el 30 de abril.